Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. So you saw last week our pantry, what it looked like after we rolled a $10 a week grocery budget for nine weeks. This week we are restocking a little bit, but I'm not all about sp spending full price to restock my pantry. So uh, let me show you what we grabbed today. Here's my meal plan for the week. So I am going to be getting a rotisserie chicken. You're not going to see it yet in the grocery haul because they are still cooking at the store. I'm going back for it. We've got leftover corn casserole. We're going to go ahead and roast some home canned potatoes in the air fryer because it's so yummy and we're going to make a salad. On Tuesday, we're going to go ahead and do pizza. We're going to do a stuffed crust, crust pizza. We're going to do half with chicken, barbecue, olives, and pickled onions. And the other half is going to be a red sauce with pepperoni, sausage, and mushrooms. On Wednesday, we're going to go ahead and do leftovers. On Thursday, I've been seeing all of these high protein like cottage cheese bowls type thing. And I want to try one of those, but I don't know exactly which one yet. Then we're going to go ahead and do street tacos on Friday. On Saturday, we're going to go ahead and do leftovers. I'm going to go ahead and can up some applesauce and some pickled coleslaw this weekend. And on Sunday, they're going to be chicken salad wraps. So let's go ahead and jump into the haul. Here is my grocery haul. This is the most groceries that my counter has seen at one time in quite a while. Even when I did my little prepper pantry stock ups during that nine week, I certainly didn't get this much. And so we were totally out of bread. And as you guys know, it is my goal to go ahead and start making homemade bread, but I'm giving myself some grace um, to um, have some more time to make it. So these were on sale for $2.99. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. And then they had the blocks of cheese on sale. And these are the 16 ounce blocks of cheese. These were on sale with a coupon for $1.99. So I grabbed two sharp, sharp cheddar. I can't even talk today, you guys. Two sharp cheddar, two Colby Jack, and one pepper jack. We are a cheesy family, just in case you guys didn't know. As a matter of fact, the next time big blocks go on sale, we're gonna get some of those. And Mr. Snow Gardener is going to go ahead and shred those up. And then I went ahead and grabbed some sour cream. And of course, we've started buying this natural sour cream. You guys, it is absolutely amazing. It says right here, no preservatives, no artificial colors, no flavors. And it says three simple ingredients. So yummy and delicious. And the sour cream, let's see, how much was the sour cream? I think it was $1.69. Okay, nope, I was wrong. It was $2.29. It was the low-fat cottage cheese that was $1.69. I went ahead and grabbed two of those. And then I went ahead and grabbed one 2% milk and the milk was, I'm out of practice needing to know more prices. <laughs> the milk was 309. You guys, I'm not, I'm out of practice for remembering what the prices are. Now I went ahead and grabbed a couple Chobani yogurts just for me for snacks or whatever. Um, I not, I'm not sure if I like Chobani, but I grabbed a couple. Um, the one coconut, one mixed berry. These were on sale for a dollar. Then I went ahead and grabbed this big um, organic 50-50 spinach and spring mix salad mix to go ahead and make some yummy salads. It was on sale for $4.98. And then you guys, for the pickled coleslaw that I'm going to be making, I needed some cabbages. And so cabbages, let's see. So I grabbed three green cabbages and one red cabbage. So one of the green cabbages was $2.49. One was $1.92. And I don't see the other one. I think we must've gotten one for free. So that happens sometimes because then they were 68 cents a pound. And then the red cabbage which I love red cabbage, was $1.49 a pound. So I'm going to be making a triple batch of that. I really hope we like it. <laughs> I'm sure I will. I love coleslaws that have a vinegar base. And then they had apples on sale. And I never got around to canning applesauce. And so these weren't an amazing price for canning, but they were $0.68 cents a pound. And I've got four bags here. One was $4.09, one was $4.67, one was $4.20, and one was $3.28. So you know, about $16 worth of applesauce, and that should make a double batch of applesauce. And then they had the mandarin on oranges on sale. And that's the only time I buy mandarin oranges is when they're on sale. And so those were $3.78. For the street tacos, I needed some cilantro, and that was actually on sale for 50 cents. It's normally $1.29. I went ahead and grabbed a cucumber for salads and fresh eating for $1.09. I needed a couple more yellow onions. Yellow onions right now are $1.19 a pound, so these two were $1.18. And then I went ahead and grabbed some lemons. My friend Stephanie was talking about this 
lemon shot that you do that has lemon and cayenne pepper and I think olive oil and it's supposed to help with bloating. We're going to give it a try. I don't know. Have you guys tried anything like that? This will be the first time I'm trying it, but I figured what the heck. And then you guys, for my coleslaw, I needed some carrots. Now, I didn't plan on buying five pounds of carrots, but that's all my store had. <laughs> they had that or loose carrots. So I went ahead and grabbed the five pound bag of carrots. And let's see, the five pound bag of carrots were $4.29. I went ahead and grabbed another celery just for me to eat with peanut butter and fresh eating. It was so yummy. I wish I would have gotten two last week when they were on sale for $1.50, but I didn't. And so this one right here was $2.19. Now, chicken was on sale. I have lots of chicken on my um, pantry shelf, on my cupboard shelf, my canning shelf. I can't even talk like I told you guys. My canning shelf behind me. I also have chicken in the freezer. We're going to do something different with this. Uh, this chicken right here was $2.87 a pound. And of course, it is the chicken breast. So I got one package for $12.30 and one package for $12.73. I am going to be cooking all of this. I'm going to be shredding it, and then I'm gonna be freezing it just to make my life a little bit easier. And then these brownies right here, my store had a deal. They had a coupon where if you spent $15, you got a box of these for free. So I said, all right, I'll take them. And my splurge for myself was a package of golden Oreos. They're normally $5.99 at my store. They were on sale for $3.99 and they just sounded so yummy. And I haven't splurged on anything for quite some time. So I decided to go ahead and uh, give myself a break and let myself have some cookies. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed some canned soup because my husband is getting ready to transition to a different type of work. There might be nights where I am eating dinner by myself. He might be doing it. And these were on sale for $1.49, you guys. I showed you at the beginning. They're over $4 a piece normally. So I just grabbed a few of these, um, not as a staple, but just as something to make life a little bit easier. And then I went ahead and grabbed two teriyaki sauces. I did this because I love putting chicken thighs in teriyaki sauce and freezing them when I find them on clearance. So this teriyaki sauce was $2.19 a piece. So this is my grocery haul for the week. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I spent. So you guys, my grocery haul without my rotisserie chicken, which I think rotisserie chickens at my store are like 10 bucks. So that's a big splurge and treat for us too, but I really wanted one and so I'm buying it. It's okay, it's cheaper than going out to eat for everybody, right? And so my total for this grocery haul was $116.27. We are back to our $125 a week grocery budget. So I did a good job. I stayed under. I went ahead and got some stuff that I definitely wasn't planning on buying. I didn't know I was buying chicken today. I didn't know I was going to get those canned soups. Those things kind of fell in the cart. And some things you just can't say no to. And of course the Oreos. But hey. You gotta love an Oreo. All right, you guys, that's it for this week. Until we see you guys next week. Next week. All right, everybody, that's it for this grocery haul. Until we see you guys next week, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. I forgot to show you guys the rotisserie chicken. It was $9.99, smallest chicken ever, I think. I don't think I'll be doing that for a while. And I bought more mandarin oranges to go ahead and can them up because I've never done it and I wanted to do it. So I did spend another $21.73, but of course that's okay because we've got the prepper pantry. Bye everybody.